Hi, welcome to the my first tutorial about making tire or wheel in MM3D. I'm going without script and I'm not native speaker, so there will be uh, mumbling and pause and stuff like that. So excuse that. I'm using uh, current SVN version of MM3D. So. First, let's make a model of a tire. Uh, use cylinder, one segment, eight sides, okay, like that. Great. Now, uh, I use Ctrl D to du duplicate it, and then S for scale, and Center three or better keep aspect two D and I'll scale it like here like this then I hold shift oops and move it like this right now uh, to make a hole inside, we use boolean operations. First, select the outer ring, set object A, then select inside part, and choose subtraction. Great. Now, if you look closer here, you see that the geometry is not very good. So use geometry meshes simplify mesh. As you can see the, the geometry is clean up. This doesn't work always so you have to play with it a little bit. Great. Now we have a tire. Uh, let's add something inside it. Well, there's a several way how to do this, so probably the simple, simpler is just add there another cylinder, like this. This should be enough, but we should scale it a little so it fit inside. I'll move it to the origin. Great, and now I scale like this. Great. Now it looks good now. So, but first, before we make texture, uh, I show you the inner part with H. Okay, we don't need uh, uh, the this part, you know. So I just delete it. Great. This is all we need for the inner part. Good. Okay. So let's uh, make a texture. First, we need some materials new material, tire, set texture, mm -hmm. that would be here, okay, Oops. Great. Now, for start, let's add it to a single group. 
called the tire on their uh, texture and assign it okay now we need to edit texture coordinates so as you can see this is front this is left so use left okay great it, it's almost perfect but we have to scale it so it fits perfectly okay this should be enough but the inner circle is not good so I'm gonna tune it a little bit like this great as you can see first part the sides are done so but this inner ring is not perfect so let's select those faces they are inside here so select first you see the both are selected so we just unselect the others now only inside ring is selected edit projection front okay and move it for example here that should do the trick yes great it looks perfect now uh, now let's fix this outside part where the pattern is you see this is a bit complicated so I I added I add new group call it pattern and I use a different texture for it great now now this this is this should be a problem probably but we try front okay okay now I'm not sure if this is good because you know it's, it's from the front and and I'm not sure if th that's what we want because you see what it create a here okay it, it doesn't look bad but I think proper thing to do is use a uh, projection so I just add a cylinder projection here okay move it a little bit scale it okay good like this okay now I do it right here okay this is better projection than simple plain front projection in this case and all I need to do is scale it great and rotate it because it's rotated close great and now the pattern is the same from every direction great I can delete the projection because I no longer need it and here it is complete tire we have 30 seconds left in this video so I think that's all Uh, this is low polygon model. If you if you need more polygon, just use cylinder with higher sides.